Hey everyone, Joe G here with Touch of the Brush Model Weathering and welcome to a bi-monthly update for February and March 2019. So in this update, I have a lot of stuff to cover, a lot of exciting stuff that has happened in February and a lot of cool stuff that's currently happening here in March and for the future. And first we're going to go over my business, Touch With The Brush Model Weathering. Again you can find me on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube as TOTB Model Weathering. So make sure you check out that stuff. And let's see here, I am actually open for clients in the months of May and June. I'm still running all those new client deals. I'll probably be doing that for a very long time. And let's see here. I am planning on doing a website. Probably towards the end of the summer, maybe fall sometime this year. Um, it's uh, still in the works. I, there's a lot of more things that I would like to weather and put up there as far as my services and the product, the finished products that I have with clients and some of my own models. So let's see here also, oh new boxcar being built, yes new boxcar. I am currently in the process of painting, decaling a boxcar with my logo on it. And I forgot to name the company that they're on, uh, that they're named, makes the boxcar. It's not like Ather and Atlas, it's like a, an older company. Got them a really good deal on, on two undecorated boxcars on eBay. Gotta love eBay folks. And right now they're in the process of being painted. I actually have a post up on Instagram as well as Facebook. So you might want to check that out, see what they look like. And probably by the time you see this video, I'm already in the process of getting decals. And Circus City decals, that's most likely what we're going to go for. And I'm also going to use micro scale decals for all the lettering and the numbering. So let's see here. And on that note, because of the box cars, one of my clients is putting up a store. An actual store, I believe he's, I don't know if he's buying a place or it's going through his home, but he has a store and he has his layout and he wants to feature my box car to advertise my business, which is really nice of him. Chris, you're a good man. Um, he has a lot of, we have a lot of cool stuff that, cool projects that we're working on. Some of those RS3s that have got to be painted for his railroad and weather, as well as a few cabooses and he's got some other stuff on the way, which would be fun. And I also have a bunch of other stuff that's going to be happening in April. I do plan on doing a, a bunch of videos, maybe just stills in the process of me weathering the stuff. I really don't have that many videos. It's very time consuming to do videos. And I'm always doing stuff a little bit at a time. I'm not really constantly working on it hourly since I do work 80 hour weeks doing what I do with my day jobs. So it's very, very, very time consuming to do that. So. I'm going to do videos and you can check out all the photos and some videos on my Instagram and Facebook. So let's see here, ooh mail order, mail order is up next. So I did receive a few packages, bought a few cool items, now by the time you probably see this video I received a bunch of other cool items so I will do a mail order video or mail call video on a few other things. I did receive a hint, a couple of locomotives. So. But in this thing, we got another cool stuff here for this mail call. Now, this is something I got from MidwestModelRailroad.com. I get off of eBay. And um, very nice to have their card here. You can see their card. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's uh, going in out of focus. I apologize. MidwestModelRailroad.com. Okay. And um, you get this card here, say 10% of your first order, over $25. I've been buying a few things from them on eBay, but I plan on buying from their actual website so I can use the coupon. I bought Robed Midwest, I may be buying more Robed very soon. So let's see what I got here. Ooh, this came in today. I got myself another NCE remote, and it's upside down. Oh, there we go. NCE remote and I do run NCE control for DCC and I do need another remote. All I only have is one. If I'm deciding to have an operating session I need more than one. So this is the start. So now I have two. So I go one 
one for the Conrad main line and one for the Hudson New England main line. So now I got two. So we'll put that in there, we'll put this down here. And let's see, we got something else, something out of the ordinary that a Nova will buy. We all like that stuff out of the ordinary. You remember that Southern Pacific Santa Fe box car I bought? Now this, these are really cool. These are old, but I'm going to weather them and make them look more realistic. These are old Craftsman signals from Scene Master. And these are the red, red, amber, green uh, uh, switch included. Let's see here. The switch included, these are old school. And you can see up there, it's the three light. Now, Conrail used the three, the three light, so that's why I bought them. Um, I need, I need them for when it goes on to the main line for the Boston and Albany and into the staging yard for both ends. So that's what I'm going to use it for. It's the only part of the layout that's on the signals, and they're going to be man controlled. So I'm going to have a little switch for them to be turned on. So when an operator needs to come out of the staging yard or into onto the main line, they're going to be have to stop the train and switch to switch to, to put the signals on. Well, actually switch to switch and then put the signals on to continue on. And they got to radio me, the dispatcher, or whoever wants to dispatch. So those are the cool things here. Alrighty, let's see what's next here. We got channel stuff. YouTube channels are next. So YouTube channel, my recent videos include my unpacking, <laughs> unpacking the trains. That was a lot of fun to film and and work with my friends. They're a bunch of good guys. They they are very, they have a lot of passion. They're very encouraging and very supportive of my layout and what I'm trying to build and pursue it as an operating session. So we have that one. And we also have the construction videos. We have episodes two and three. I'm in the process of doing phase three as we speak. I'm in the process of putting all the boards up in the foam and since that's pretty much done by the time you probably hit watch this video, I'm probably editing it and have it out very, very soon. The next video I'm gonna be putting out after that will be a layout tour and track design of my layout. So you get to get a sneak peek of what my track design and my track, the, the design of the whole layout and the uh, track plan itself. Now mind you, by the time you saw, probably see this video, it's probably going to be completely changed. Um, my, I have a couple of friends of mine that we've been deciding on different things to put there. So once we have a final, final track plan, I would do another video on it. And then, let's see here, I also got the Nashville, Ten uh, Tennessee Central and track in Nashville, Tennessee, I'm sorry, the uh, Nashville, Tennessee Central Museum. They have the N-Track Module Club, and I have a video on the setting up their club, and maybe a couple of trains running. So check out that video, that's coming very soon. As well as some layout tours around Middle Tennessee. There's a lot of guys down in Columbia and Dixon, Tennessee, they have beautiful N-Scale layouts and HO scale layouts. And I have my buddy Glenn, his father's building a huge layout. He used to work for the Sioux Line for, I think, over 40 years. So he's a lot of Sioux line equipment, so he's trying to build another layout looking like that. And let's see here, with the mail call video, okay, by the time this comes out, I'll be in the process of having a mail call video because I'll have all my packages in finally. All right. And then we have my thousand subscriber contest. Ooh, so for that, folks, it's going to be, I'm about 100 subscribers away. I'm hitting 1,000. 1,000, believe that? I started this thing, what, 20, 2007, I, 2008 I started this channel. And it ha has went through ups and downs all over the place. I was off YouTube for a while, I came back on, full swing again, so trying to pick up where I left off, which is kind of hard. So I'm trying to get back into the YouTube community by doing more videos and being in touch with everybody, which is awesome. I do appreciate all the support. So to celebrate that, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm posing a contest. I don't know what's going to be yet. I'm giving either something away physically or maybe my services. You have to wait and see. Railfan X. I haven't touched Railfan X in about a month or two months just because I've been so busy with work and I'd rather my priority, priority is getting these videos out to you guys first and foremost. 
Ralph and X, let's say I have the Chattanooga from January. I gotta do that video still. I still got the Rot Hole Division in October that's still gotta be uploaded. And I do have Birmingham. Birmingham's a lot of fun. If you wanna check out that, hopefully that'll be out in the next few months on Ralph and X channel. I will have a preview of that on this channel. Uh, this channel. And basically, folks, it was really cool to uh, chase a couple trains and try to chase the um, Alabama-Tennessee Railroad, the ATN. It had Southern Pacific SD40T-2 tunnel motor leading a SD40-2 Burlington Northern. Both X locomotives, they actually are now in the same colors, but they're owned by the ATN. And that was really cool to watch those things switch. Two fallen flags right in Alabama. And they belong out west, so that was pretty cool. And, ooh, the layout. The last thing on this thing is all about the train layout. So, you guys seen my videos, on the construction videos, and this, right now, I will have the plywood up in the foam. I, my, my father, he used to be a, a really, really big model railroader, and he decided to get into record player collecting, and also memorabilia from the 40s and the 50s, and even prior to that, so he is giving me a lot of Code 100 flex track. So I'm waiting on that to be shipped to me so I can start the Code 100 flex track for the Conrail line. And I explained this in my video for the, the uh, track design. I'm hoping to have the Conrail main line completed by the end of April and have the Hudson New England main line completed by the end of May. I do have enough Code 83 to finish it, but I have to put the Conrail up first and foremost. That's why I can figure out the spacing I need for the yards. So that has to get done first and foremost. And let's see, construction, track plan. The construction is about done. And oh, I perhaps I might show you something really quickly if you don't mind. We are in the train room and Part of the reason why I wanted a peninsula was that way I can have my O scale collection finally being used. And I do have a nice O scale collection. I do have all those there, all here, and all in there. You can tell all that. That's my entire O scale collection that's left. I used to have about six, six, seven shelves more of that, but I converted back to HO. But here we go. It's not operating right now. I'm still working on it. Some of the track is really, really dirty and has to be cleaned and connections have to be fixed. But when I have people over to look at the layout, I'll do, I will run this, but when we have operating sessions, this will be, um, this will be hidden underneath. And it won't be in a way, one of the operating sessions, I'll take off the track and just keep the curves underneath the peninsula and just put it back together when I want to run stuff. And um, I'm gonna do a lot of videos on my N my O scale collection, and possibly I might not possibly eventually I will put up an N scale loop as well because I want to get a couple of N scale trains. I'm starting to get into N scale. I like N scale, so um, so that's that. So that, I guess that's the little sneak peek I want to show you. But I will go through. There'll be videos of my entire locomotive collection. I still bought a few more, so there's stuff to be added here, and um, we'll go over some stuff and see all the uh, different stuff I have in my collection. So let's get back to the office. So wasn't that worth it? I'm sure it was, right? Cool. So folks, thank you so much for watching this update, and thank you for all the support, and thank you to all the subscribers out there, and for all the new people watching this. If you don't mind, please just subscribe because you're going to see a lot of cool stuff heading your way. And a lot of it's been delayed just because of building the layout me busy with work. But I plan on having a lot of cool videos coming in the next few months with this layout. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to do some, hopefully do some how-tos. I'm going to do a lot of documentation on this train layout. As well as my collection, running different trains. A lot more layout tours. I plan on going back to Andy Crawford's layout for the YouTube model builders. I plan on doing that in some time in the spring. And hopefully some more rail fanning in, in the summertime. We got, we got a trip that may be coming around June or July where we're gonna see the Canadian National in Tennessee. So that'll be really cool to do. So stay tuned, please subscribe, click the bell, 
that way we get all the notifications and hopefully get that working everything works well with that and like the videos let's get to a thousand subscribers that way we can do this contest and we can officially just have a good time so you guys take care this is Joey G with Touch of the Brush Model Weathering.